GCB is nav ready. Countdown. Perhaps you've seen this video online. Nominal. That's NASA's robotic lunar lander going on a test drive. After two years in development, the prototype is taking flight and showing success. To learn more about this 700-pound hovering spacecraft, we just, you know, called up NASA. The robotic lander demonstration that you see in the video is really demonstrating a closed-loop autonomous vehicle. If we can prove that this system works, this same design then could be made into a flight unit that would fly to the moon or any other airless body. Unlike Mars, which has an atmosphere, propulsion is needed to land on airless bodies. In this case, the propellant is environmentally friendly hydrogen peroxide. The outer planets that we're talking about go into in the solar system, like the moon, they call it an airless body, so a parachute will not do you any good. So you have to have a, a propulsive descent and landing, you know, without a pilot and controlled autonomously. The hope is that these landers will be inexpensive and can be sent out in groups to gather data on our moon, other moons, and near-Earth asteroids. If astronauts ever wanted to go to a near-Earth asteroid, we'd be able to gather all the environmental type data that you would need to build a, a crewed vehicle that would go to a near-Earth asteroid. Um, we've looked at the moons of Mars. Um, we could go to Phobos, we know with this same type lander design. So in enabling this technology, what we've done is we've opened up a, a low cost way to go to many other airless bodies that we haven't you know, visited in, in, in detail to get a lot of the data that you would need. And we can expect to see much higher test flights soon. We're prepping the outdoor test site and planning for uh, a mid-August test where we do start going up to 100 feet, uh, maybe even a little higher eventually and simulate what a descent would be like coming down to the moon. It's clear the NASA engineers really enjoy these test flights. When everything comes together and it works uh, perfectly just like it has the past few tests, that's very, it's very exciting. It's a big adrenaline rush. Everybody's heart's pounding. Very nice. Very nice. For Discovery News, I'm Martin Berman, and that's Controlled Hover Test Flight Number 4 Explained.